A wild chase for state police after an inmate headed to prison broke free. Ross Gadadi is live. He talked with a woman who saw the escape. Ross. As a matter of fact, I'm standing in the garage where the chase actually began. And before it was all over, Justin Shea would take a car out of this garage, knock the garage door that I'm standing on off, hit this car, get shot at by several other law enforcement officers before he finally wrecked the car he allegedly stole in a tree, all because he didn't want to go to jail. According to investigators, it was around 10.30 this morning when convicted felon Justin Charles Shea was on his way to start a two-year sentence inside the Greene County lockup when he jumped out of the vehicle transporting him there on Route 21 here in German Township. I could hear, like, brakes squeaking and, and several times, and I thought, oh, somebody wrecked. Miss Sniss says she watched in absolute disbelief as the 23-year-old ran past her. She was outside working in her mother's front yard. Here comes this inmate in a jumpsuit and shackles and chains running at me. Smith says that Shea then did something almost unbelievable. Shea managed to get inside the home and steal a BMW from inside the garage, and he didn't bother opening the garage door. Driving through the closed door, taking off, Shea then allegedly headed toward two corrections officers whose van he had escaped just a couple minutes earlier. The two officers opened fire. They just started shooting at him like... Yeah, like 10, I, I think 12 times, they said. Unfazed, Shea didn't bother stopping and led police on a chase at some points going 120 miles an hour. His run from the law, however, would end on Main Street in Salem Township when he slammed into a tree. Tonight, I'm probably going to sit there and go, did that just happen? It did. The evidence standing right behind me. Now, Shea, of course was questioned by police. He's heading to the Fayette County Jail. He faces a number of felony charges as a result of what happened today. He was, as we mentioned before, actually just sentenced this morning to time down in Greene County when he made his alleged, or actually he made his attempted escape. Reporting live, Ross Gidotti, KDKA News.